The World Economic Forum has estimated that nine in every ten jobs will require digital skills in the future. A 2021 report by the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, states that 40% of individuals in 40% of countries surveyed reported carrying out an activity that requires basic digital skills, illustrating the need for more people to acquire such skills. While the process of digitalization has been a catalyst for development, it has also created many problems. Some of these problems relate to exacerbating existing inequalities for the most vulnerable groups. Vulnerable sections of society, such as women and youth, are particularly affected by this. For example, UNESCO reports that globally, women and girls are 25% less likely than men to know how to leverage digital technology. Addressing these inequalities is pivotal in enhancing opportunities to fully participate in a digital society. UNITAR, in partnership with the government and people of Japan, has been working towards reducing inequalities and ensuring that no one is left behind, which is integral to providing equal access to opportunities and achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Our transition to the digital space has helped us exponentially expand our learners and beneficiaries. We design and deliver innovative training to address the needs of our individuals, of organizations and institutions. In the past few years, over 1,900 participants in Afghanistan, Iraq and the Sahel region have benefited from this partnership through the Digital Reskilling and Upskilling program. The program trains participants in digital literacy, application development, data programming and coding, and artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. I joined UNITOR in the program of empowerment of Afghan women through digital reskilling in 2021. And later in 2022, I got an opportunity to be a mentor and coach for other Afghan women. The UNITAR training equipped me with a range of valuable skills and practical knowledge, including market analysis, financial management, and marketing strategies. This formation has been a great support in what concerns my perception, in what concerns the question of gender, the question of acceptation, the question of inclusion in the socio-professional that present them with unique opportunities to, to get to know people from different backgrounds. And that's extremely important to promote peace, sustainable peace. I founded a non-profit organization, She Two, in 2020, after attending the Empowering Social Entrepreneur and Youth Leaders for Iraq program. She Two provides safe, and supportive environment for Iraqi women to learn computer programming and to pursue a career in tech sector. Uh, after notre formation, I have formed people, also in presential and in line, uh, in the domain of e-learning, of education inclusive, of education in situation of urgence, and also on uh, the question of the integration of numeric in uh, the activities of my daily life, in my community. Such an amazing and incredible opportunity that Afghan women can actually learn from online, from distance, which means a lot to us. The role that Hiroshima could play for the world is extremely important and relevant, particularly right now. Uh, Hiroshima is symbol of peace, symbol of prosperity. And we really appreciate the program. We really appreciate all of the efforts the people of um, Japan, the government of Japan, and the participant of UNITOR has provided for us. Thank you. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the government of Japan for their supporting and funding UNITOR program. Konoki kaiwa, arigato gozaimasu.